Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Shark Tale uh, in full widescreen. Uh, there is a couple of fixes out there. Uh, one of them relies on a replacement of the engine.dll file. That did work for me, but what happens, it will uh, kind of mess up the uh, the cutscenes when the reporter fish comes out. Uh, she will not be, you know, lined up correctly on that little TV screen. So I found out that this is actually a better fix because it will let you run it full screen and it will show up properly on the uh, scaling of the, uh, you know, the actual uh, mini TV screen when the fish reporter comes out. So if you did want to go ahead and try that out, if you already have the game installed, you should have uh, a folder in your My Documents folder. So we're going to travel to that. If you want, just have both windows open, the folder that has the game and then the folder uh, documents and Shark Tales. The first thing we're going to check is one of the issues the game has, if for some reason, uh, by default, I mean, it did it to me, so it's probably doing it to everybody else. If you want to use a joypad, it will work. For some reason, it was uh, having the speeds different left to right versus up and down. So up and down, it moved, you know, nice, but left and right, it was really, really fast. So I'm going to show you how to fix that if you have that issue. So you're going to go into your user INI file from within that folder. And we're going to go to the spot down here towards the bottom that has the joy equals access, uh, you know, settings right here. So as you see right now, mine says uh, eight and eight on all three of these. Uh, by default, for some reason, the game put it at 32.0 and then 8.0 on the second one. So if you want the speeds to match, you know, up and down, left and right, you're going to want to make these both eight. You can, you know kind of play around with your preference but for me it worked the best at eight whatever you do just try to match the top with the bottom and that way you'll have the same speeds up and down left and right so if these were set a different number than the bottom one go ahead and change that to eight across the board so eight and eight for this one uh, this set here and then that set there once you've done that just go ahead and save the file once you've saved it you know saved it you can close it now the next file we're going to go into is the game i and i so once you open up that game I and I, we're going to search for the settings for the uh, resolution. So we're going to go scroll down here and we're going to keep going until we find it. So it's this spot right here, WinDrive.WindowsClient, uh, right there in the brackets. So once you get to this spot, you're going to want to change. You can change this one too to match uh, the full screen, but this is where you're going to change your uh, resolution. So for the purpose of the video, I always do 1920 by 1080. So make sure that that right there is changed to whatever resolution you want to run it in then we're going to go ahead and hit save and then once you've hit save you can go ahead and close the window now that's going to save the settings now when we launch the game the game will be running on full screen so let's go ahead and launch that just to verify and obviously the cutscenes are going to come out a little bit small in the beginning because the game wasn't natively meant to run at this higher resolution So I'll go ahead and just click new game so you can see what I mean about the uh, reporter here. Let me, that's an old one, so let me launch this one. So we're going to hit space and just Good bypass that. So here's the reporter, and then I'll mention that spot here in a second. Just in case you try to use the other fix first or you're already using it you can see the advantage of doing it this way so there's the tv so as you can see she's dead center on the screen uh, if you use the other uh picks she's going to be uh, off to the side instead of in the center which kind of looks goofy when you're looking at the cutscenes. so we'll go ahead and just let this uh play through and i'll show you that i am running with the joystick So again, if you run it with the joystick and you see that issue where it's moving extremely fast to the left and to the right, and then that will happen on both parts, you know, the left analog and the right analog stick. So if it does that, you'll want to do that fix that I mentioned with the uh, changes to the numbers. So as you can see right now, this is the right, you know, thumbstick and I'm going up and down, left and right. And as you can see, it moves nice and smooth. There's no stuttering and left and right and up and down. So if you notice the number 32, you know, is way higher than eight. So what was it was doing was going extremely fast to the left and to the right. So, you know, by matching up those numbers, I'm able to get it to run like this at normal speed. 
and then you're good to go. Now you can also use the game obviously with the keyboard, but if you prefer to use the the, G, uh, the joystick, you're gonna want to do those fixes that I showed you, so everything moves, you know, at the correct speed. And I also did try this with the DG Voodoo, but it happened. It had two errors that I couldn't fix. One was the uh, mentioned, you know, about the uh, little uh, reporter fish coming out not in the center and then what also happened I was able to scale it to any resolution I wanted for some reason I could not get the mouse to uh, you know cover the whole window so that what it was basically doing what the mouse would just come out on the left uh, you know left side quarter of the game and it would not let you you know choose all the options normally that is fixed with a setting in DG Voodoo for some reason that fix on DG Voodoo did not work with this game. So that's why I chose to go ahead and do it the way I just showed you. And that way you shouldn't have any issues with the uh, you know joystick movement, the uh, incorrect cutscenes with the reporter, and you'll be able to go full screen. I was able to run the game at 4096 by 2160. So if your video card is capable of doing that, just put those settings in the uh, you know file for the game I and I. With that, we're done. Go ahead and have a good one. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys on the next video.